Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Do You Recall podcast, the nostalgia podcast that says the show's back in the day got you through your day. And today's podcast, we're going to focus on a couple different 90s shows. Here we go. My 90s babies, this is for you. I just had to do that for dramatic effect. I am so excited about this episode because I get to briefly talk about one of my favorite shows growing up, and that is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Every generation has some Power Ranger show, (laughs) some type of Power Ranger show. So this is for my 90s babies who remembers Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original ones back when they were racist. You guys, if you guys don't remember, okay, you should recall them being racist. I mean, come on, guys. The black guy was the black ranger, and he broke dance, and his sword was an elephant. Now, where are elephants predominantly found in? Oh, that's right, Africa. The yellow ranger was Asian. Damn. Right? I know, right? Now, the girl who was like the acrobatic, she did gymnastic, which is typically a white girl sport was the Pink Ranger, and she is the one that had the skirt. Now, I know you guys are thinking, like, why didn't the Yellow Ranger have a skirt, and that was a girl. Now, for my real nerds out there, you guys already know the answer to this, but some of you guys don't. I'll let you guys in on the secret. show was brought over by Japan. In the Japan version, the Green, I'm sorry, the Yellow Ranger was played by a male, and he did not have a skirt, obviously. So when they brought it over to America, they just kept the same type of costume and but they just put another woman in the role so it can be somewhat even two girls three guys let's do it that way why not so there you go if you didn't know that now you know and that's not what I want to talk about that was my little brief thing into Power Rangers Power Rangers was amazing back in the day how buildings blew up one day and automatically they're up the next day there was great construction crews were at the top of their fucking game okay (laughs) I'll let you know right now but do you recall, but Jason's Frank, he actually was supposed to play in a new show called Cybertron. Some of you guys may or may not know this. So do you recall that two and a half to three minute trailer of him just sitting on the stone and was talking about how he lost his father. He couldn't find his father. And all of a sudden he was about to get these virtual reality powers. Oh, my God. Do you recall the show, VR Troopers? We are VR. I can't remember the, the the theme song. I like I want to, but I just like can't because it wasn't that good as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> okay, it, it just wasn't. So we had the show named VR Troopers, where in this show now instead of just having Cybertron one character, we have three different characters in the show. VR troopers and basically it was three teenagers once again who have fighting backgrounds that became superheroes that is the basis of it they fought like a corporate tyrant his name was the grim or grim grim lord yeah grim lord that was his name and he was like a corporate tyrant in the real world but in the virtual world he was like this real lord black dark figure of a person it was kind of it was kind of epic, to tell you the truth. We had Ryan Steele, we had Caitlin Hall, we had J.B. Reese, and Professor Hart made up the characters of the show VR Troopers. Now, it only lasted for, I want to say, three years. So it came out in 94, and then it came out in 95, and then 96, and then we were done with it because they were like, This is not going to beat our Power Rangers. And it didn't beat our Power Rangers. We all knew this, okay? Like, I don't know what the hell you guys were thinking that any show was going to beat our Power Rangers. Like, I didn't think at the time they thought Power Rangers can go on as long as it has been going on. Like, at some point, you're going to run out of fucking colors. Like, you are going to run out of colors, right? And it's going to be one of those amazing things. Now, check this out. Do you recall after we had... VR Troopers, okay, done by the same company as Power Rangers, we then had Big Bad Beetle Boards, Beetle Boards, Big Bad Beetle Boards, Beetle Boards, 
if you guys don't understand what that last little part was, that was literally like a vampire that was on the show. And he was like, Beetleborgs. And he used to come up like that. And it was literally about these three kids that got powers. And from this dude named Flabber. Was it Flabber? Yeah, it was Flabber. He was like this weird, he looked like a distant cousin of the genie from Aladdin. That's what he looked like. He had this giant ass, you know, Jay Leno chin. <laughs> He had three chins. It looked like it looked crazy. He really had he had one chin, but it was split in half. It looked like a, a weird butt like on his chin. It was weird. You just gotta watch him and look at him and see what he looks like. And you know what I mean. Flabber from Big Bad Beetleboards, right? And literally, like I said, three kids that get superpowers and you know, they pretty much hang out at a comic book store. Now, this was my favorite thing about the show was they hung out in a comic book store. That that made sense to me. You know what I mean? They weren't, like, rid off from society. Like, they they used their imaginations. They were in a comic book store. They're pretty much, that's pretty much where the show started off at, them in the comic book store. And then their command center, for lack of a better word, their command center was this haunted house. Now, that part was a little bit far-fetched. I don't know why it was a haunted house, but um, it was. Um uh, it scared the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie. All these damn monsters around these little ass kids, and I'm like the little black black kid that was in the show. I'm like, dude, you know your black ass would have not been in that damn haunted house. <laughs> Come on now, these two white kids are like, hey, let's go to the haunted house. You like you you gonna be like, let's go? Uh, no. <laughs> How about we stay right here in the comic book store where shit makes sense? Okay, but then again, if he didn't go with them, he wouldn't got the powers to be a big bag beetleborgs and. Beetleboards to me had the second best, you know, toys compared to Power Rangers. I mean, the Zords and Beetleboards were pretty cool. They're different colors. They had the little tentacle things you can use to crush things. So you get to use your imagination a lot more with the Beetleboard toys, which is something I really did enjoy. But like, I remember them because they were critical to my childhood. Like being a '90s baby, like we we always remember like. Power Rangers being like, that was the shit. That was like the top escalon of what you used to watch as a kid. But you had these other shows that had little bits of it that were great. VR Troopers to me was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I mean, it kind of was. I mean, it kind of was. I mean, it just, it was too closely related to Power Rangers to me. You know what I mean? But Big Bad Beetleboards was a lot more com comedic to me. I love the fact they were younger. They were like preteen, about to be teens or were teens. I love that aspect of it. They were younger. Um, only thing I really didn't like is when like they did get like the powers, they would like grow, so they were bigger. Uh, I guess if you were short back then, you want to get powers, you would your power would be bigger. I guess that'd be a thing. But uh, for me. <laughs> That didn't do it, but the rest of the show was funny to me, and I enjoyed the show. And I think kids nowadays would appreciate the Big Bad Beetleboards. And you can't just say Beetleboards; you got to say Big Bad Beetleboards. Once again, thank you guys for listening, tuning in to the show. This has been the Do You Recall Nostalgia Podcast, focusing on the shows from back in the day that got you through your day. I've been your host CJ. I holler when I holler at you. I see you when I see you. Peace. Big Bad Beetle, Beetle Ball.